The first time I met Henry Turner, um, I thought he was going to kill me. It was at a bus stop on the number six line on MLK, you know the one? At the bus stop there was a sort of a disheveled looking uh, just older man. He, he could have been you know, 40, he could have been maybe, uh, he could have been 90. And so I told him, I was like, I'm just using this old transfer. And he said, uh, you know, if you don't think you need fucking dog, I'm going to bite your ear off. And I just sort of froze. Like, it was in the middle of the night and there was nobody around. And there was like, and there was just this silence, this terrifying silence. And then the bus pulled up and it just, the doors open. And he goes like, I'm just fucking with you, and he starts patting me on the back, and he gives me a stack of unused bus passes, and he goes like, "Here you go, kid. Like if you're using these unused bus passes, like have some ones so you don't get caught." You know, every time we, we would come back from a tour, and I would always see Henry around, and all these businesses would always change, and all these different things would change, but it was like he was sort of this, this central figure that never changed. He was just always this person that was there who was, you know, looked menacing, but was just this complete, like, angel, just this harmless guy who would go around giving people, like, free bus passes, like, fucking with them first, you know, and just sort of getting them on their toes or getting them on edge and then being like, here you go. Like I said, he would tell me these different stories, and they were completely unbelievable. Like, like I could have been a major league baseball player, but like, you know, like, you know, shit went down. Uh, I threw out my rotator cuff, and they found out about the speed, and they kicked me off the team. And he said that he had a bunch of major league scouts, like, line him up. He, you know, he was a pitcher. He was a left-handed pitcher. And so I go up, or I go home, and I look him up on the internet, and I look up the Georgia Tech, ro the Georgia Tech roster from 1979. And there he is, like Henry fucking Turner, his name is on the roster, on the old roster from 1979. So I started wondering like, how many of these stories are actually true. In about 2010, we got back from t tour and like, there was no Henry around. And I started wondering like, where the hell is he? And then I'm down on the downtown park blocks. Um, you know, sort of close to PSU, and I see him just sort of like lumbering up towards me. I'm like, hey, you know, Henry, how's it going, man? And he just sort of looks at me. He's just, he's really out of it. He's got these red eyes and everything. He just looks bad. And he goes, hey, like, I'm, I'm going to be leaving town for a while. You hold on to something for me. And, uh, and he reaches into his bag, and he gives me this stack of bus passes, probably like 150 bus passes. And, uh, and so he gives them to me, and he goes, hold on to these for me, and he just like walks away. And two weeks later, he died. And I don't know if a funeral was held. I don't know if like any of his family knew about it. After that, I started becoming obsessed with Henry Turner and just like tracking down all these different stories and just, I guess, writing down all the different stories and just sort of researching his life because it felt like, you know, he was a really complicated, individual and he was an absolute angel at times and he was also an absolute monster at times after he died um i guess it hit me really hard and i missed him a lot a lot of the things that he did for other people were very um you know he didn't expect anything in return out of it and i think how he lived the end of his life was really admirable and I think, you know, regardless of whether it was to make up for the things that he did earlier in his life, um, the time that I knew him, he was, uh, he was a, a good friend, I guess. He was just a really good friend. Well, the next Tax Bears album are all songs pertaining to Henry Turner's life. And uh, it's all of the stories that we know are true, and it's all the stories that are probably not true, and it's just everything in between, and uh, it's just songs about his life. And there's a book that's coming out to go along with it, which is just a collection of the stories that he told. And that's what uh, God Forgive These Bastards is, is all about, which uh, the phrase God Forgive These Bastards was something that he always said, and it was something he said that he got from his grandfather and his great-grandfather. The Henry Turner that I knew was a really strange but really kind 
person. And I think that he was extremely complicated, but also um, had a good heart, despite all of the horrible things that he did. You know, he did a lot of really good things.